Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel A tutorial. Last day we discussed about eloquent one to one relation. Today I will discuss about eloquent one to many relations. We can only use this type of relationship when one table data is related to another table's multiple data. That means when one table is logically related to with multiple records. For example, a student studies a multiple subject. So we can say student table and subject table both are connected each other with one to many relations. So let's create two table. So we are going to create two table that is one student and another is subject table. So we will create a model and we will create a migration for that model. So to create a model we need to use PHP artisan make model suppose here my model name is student and i am creating migration so minus m so just enter oh, model student created and i am going to create another uh, model that is subject so i am going to create this so that is subject so here the model created and the created migration so if we check in our project directory so here we'll get the two model that is student and another subject is created and in the database section if we check in migration folder we'll get the create student table and create subject table migration is created so this is the student table migration so let's add some column in this table so i'm going to create suppose a table and this is the string type and i'm going to create suppose a name and i'm going to create another column that is email for students table now save this student table migration and i am going to create the migration table so let's add some column in migration table so i will create a subject column so we need to add the table and we need to provide the string and my column name is subject and i am going to create a foreign key table and, and i am taking it to the big integer and i am adding the column name that is student id and i am adding this unsigned and let's create the foreign key relationship so to create the foreign key relation i need to use the table and after that the foreign and the foreign key is the student id and which is references the id from the student table so use references id from student table so we need to write the on and the copy the name of the table that is students so use this here and i am adding the cascading so we need to add the on delete so here we need to use the cascade so our so our subject table and student table migration ready so let's migrate this first so to migrate we need to use the php artisan migrate so the student table and subject table created so if we check in our tutorial database so here we will get the student table and subject table so just go to the test table so here is student table the column is name email and in subject table there is student id and subject column so now let's build the relation in the model so i am closing the migration files so here is the two model that is student model and subject model so first i am adding relationship in the student model so here i will provide a protected and after that the table variable and my table name is here for student model that is students and for subject model 
our relations is subject so just copy from here and the subject and let's create a function in student model to get the subject name so here we will use the public function subjects and I will return so this is the one to many relation so we need to use this has many and after that we need to use the class name of subject so there is subject and we need to add the class here and save this file and now go to the subject model so here it is a subject model so i will create a function to fetch record from student so here i will create a function that is public function suppose the function name is students and here i will return this belongs to we need to use the belongs to here and we need to provide the class name that is student and we will use the class here so that's it so now we need to create a controller to fetch the record from these tables so i will create a controller to create a controller we need to use php artisan make controller and i'm going to create a controller that is student controller so just enter and the controller created successfully so if we check our directory we'll get the controller that is http controller that is student controller so here is a student controller so we need to create a method to add some student so first we will create the public function add student and i will use the student model here so use the student model and after that i am creating a student variable that is and initializing the student class here and after that i am providing the name for the student suppose student name is john and i am providing the email that is email is john at the red gmail.com and last i am saving the student so and finally i am returning that is student edit successfully so let's call this function so we need to use the route so here we can see in web.php so first use the use app http controllers student controller and after that call the student so here route get and my url is add student and after that call the class so here is the class name student controller and class and provide the method name here so my method name is add student so here is the add student function so if we call this add student we can save the student record so let's start the server so php artisan serve so server started and now add student so student added successfully so if you go to the student table we will get record for one and i'm going to add another record suppose i'm using the johnny here and i'm using the johnny at the gmail.com and let's rerun this url so student added successfully so if you refresh we will get another student so that is to johnny at the gmail.com so now we need to add some data in subject table to add some data 
going to use the student id that is student id is the foreign key for the subject table so now let's add some data into the subject table to add data into subject table i'm creating a method that is public function add subject and we need to pass the student id here so let's use the student variable and let's call the class student and find the id that is dollar id and let's add another variable that is subject and we will use the subject class here so this is the subject method and after that we will enter some data into subject table so we will enter some data that is subject and we have the column name that is subject so just use this and i am providing the value that is english and now i need to add the foreign key that is student id the student and we'll call the class and and we'll call the methods that is subjects method and after that we'll use the save function and in the save function we need to pass the subject variable and after that i will write a return statement that is subject added successfully so let's create a route to call this function so to create a route we need to use suppose i am using the add subject url and here my method name is add subject so let's call this and i am passing the parameter here so we need to pass this from here so i will pass this parameter so let's run this url so now provide the url here and suppose i am going to provide a subject for student one for john so i will pass the student id here so let's enter this so subject added successfully so if we refresh the subject table we will get one subject added that is english for student id one so if you want to add another subject for suppose for johnny so let's change the subject name suppose i'm using the history here and let's use the student id for two so here we can see the another subject is inserted for student id two if you want to add another subject that is economy and i want to assign this subject for student one also so let's add this so subject id successfully so if you refresh we will get for student id one we will get two subject that is english and economy and for student id two we have only history okay so we have added some data into student table and subject table now we need to fetch the record so to fetch record we need to create another function suppose i am creating the function that is public function get subject by student id and we need to pass the student id here so just use this and after that so i am taking a subject variable that is subject and i will use the student table class so here we use the student table class and we will find the id and after that we will call the method name so this is the method name that is subjects so here we will use this and just to return the subject variable that's it so now we need to call this from routes so we need to use so my function name is get subject by student id to provide this and we need to provide suppose my url suppose my url will be get subject by student and we need to pass the student id here so just run this so we'll run 
this url and browser and suppose i want to get record first 21 so just pass the one here so here we can see sorry there is a mistake so here we will use the subjects and let's run this again so here we will get the result for 21 that is english and economy so if we check our database we will get the two subject that is english and economy for 21 and if we check for 22 we will get in this way so for 22 that is history so here we will get in our database that is history so it's all about laravel one to many relationship and next day we will learn about laravel many to many relationships if you have any queries please comment in comment section and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye